and welcome to ThoughtSpot. Our mission is very simple. It's to create the easiest to use analytics platform that is built on top of the modern data stack. We are laser focused in enabling anyone and everybody in the business, no matter how technical, to get access to insights as and when they need it in the business moment. We fundamentally believe that in order to keep up with the pace of the modern world, we need something more granular and more agile than expert author dashboards, and we believe this to be AI-powered search. For the showdown, we've used a combination of best-of-breed tools from the analytics stack consisting of Fivetran for ingestion, DBT for modeling, and Snowflake for processing. ThoughtSpot provides live analytics on a wide range of modern analytical databases and sources, and having data ready for search is as easy as one, two, three. One, connect to my data source. Two, model my data. And three, create a semantic layer that is built for search. You can see here that I've created a connection to Snowflake where I can import my tables. Now, critically, we do not copy the tape data. We only copy the metadata and the index values so we can search. So for example, if you've got um, billions of rows or tens of billions of rows, that's no problem. For example, this data set here is 1.1 billion rows. And our second step is to model the data. Now we can use our easy to use UI to create joins between different tables. Um, so for example, I can click here and I can add joins between two different tables using a UI, so no coding is required. However, we can automatically build these joins from various external tools such as DBT, or for example, reading the database metadata itself. And lastly, we create a search semantic layer called a worksheet. Now in a worksheet, what we're doing here is empowering the business users with the right columns from the worksheet that we wish for them to explore. So the right columns from the right tables. We can create any formulas we want to, parameters, etc. We will also automatically identify and catalog which columns are used as attribute values and which columns are used as measure values for easy slicing and dicing from the end users. The analyst can also build in nice business friendly names, nice business friendly descriptions. And also we've got an integration with GPT-4 to um, automatically create alias values. So end users can find the data that they're looking for without having to understand and learn the underlying data model. Now, once our asset is ready, what we can do is use our tags to certify content. So for example, this is ready for the Gartner BI showdown. I can add certain tags. And once I'm happy, I can also share this with certain known users and groups. And we have rich row level security and column level security, which means the right objects can be shared with the right people and the right data and attributes can also be viewed by the right people also. In order to make our experience feel as easy to use as any other consumer app, we've taken inspiration from social and Google. Social media, in order to create a homepage that is personalized and only pushes the relevant content to that user, in what they're interested in, but also have the governance to access. And also Google to create a full natural language search experience powered by Azure's OpenAI and GPT-4 engine. So if I want to know which countries have the highest population exposed to flooding in 2020, and ask that in natural language. Now at this point, ThoughtSpot will do two things. It will A, generate AI-based suggestions using GPT, but it will also look at the crowdsourced information here as well. So the user has access to all the information to get the insight that they trust. ThoughtSpot will also expose all the tokens, all the underlying metrics and attributes known. So again, the users can get clarity about how it's calculated. If the user doesn't like the suggestions or it doesn't quite hit the mark, we have this human in loop feature that will allow the user to go in and correct the results, improving the accuracy of the engine over time. We also have a data explorer. The users can create both manual data stories and dynamic data stories powered by our automated insights engine, SpotIQ. Well, if I want to see the rainfall over the last four years, I can use our SpotIQ engine to go find out if there's any outliers, correlations, or trends. ThoughtSpot will automatically pick what it believes is the right columns for it to go away and do this analysis, and it will do that analysis and take me to it. So for example, here, um, you can see all of the out-of-box insights that's been generated. We can see the rainfall by the different station names. We can see the overlaying uh, countries which have most rainfall. So all of these dynamic data stories have natural language commentary, which I can right click and pin that to my own personal data story. 
I can also right click on any of these data points so have full drill down capability so users can see the why behind the what. So we can also empower users to create manual data stories, have all the different attributes here, click on each one of these and get more information about, about what it means. So we have a dictionary of descriptions, but also a catalog of where it's been used in the past. Our users can use the GPT enabled feature to automatically ask questions. So for example, here we can see how many stations are populated in which countries. We see a load in the US and Australia, and I can again pin that to my live board so I can carry on building out my authored data story. We can also ask more complex questions um, wasn't using any small number of rows. It was using 1.1 billion rows to be precise. And we can answer simple questions like let's look at the number of rows monthly. But we can also use this engine to create and ask quite complicated questions. So for example, I know that in 2022, it was quite a devastating year in India when it came to river and rain flooding. So I want to compare the rainfall for the last five years versus 2022 in India. And you can see ThoughtSpot will take these out of the box keywords and break that down and give me the answer. Now, I might want to then break that down by, for example, the month of the year or the week of the year. And again, using the out of box keywords, we can slice and dice this data to do that. Now, we can see here that particularly in 2022, um, we had much more rainfall in the first half of the year and a drier second half of the year. So it wasn't caused by abnormally high monsoon rains. It was the fact that the monsoon rains came much earlier than expected. So 2022 saw some high extreme weather events. I can easily right click and drill down and get any level of information behind it. Drill down uh, is automatically available in the platform and we can change these visualizations to any sort of chart type that we support. So for example, I might want to put this in a pivot table, different line charts, or just simply see this in table form. And if I like the visualization and I like what I want to see, I can pin this to carry on getting those dynamic data stories that I'm building for the um, analysis that I want to do. A live board is a result of a user creating their own data story. As you can see, a live board is very similar to a dashboard where you have lots of visualizations pieced together so you can create your own data story. But the difference here, the content is fully created self-service without always the need of a super user to create it for you. In ThoughtSpot, everyone is a creator. You can come into these live boards itself and go directly into present mode, which is a PowerPoint-like presentation where all the visualizations are on full screen, but you really have access to live data and you can interact with them and drill anywhere. The users can toggle on and off the favorite button here so the content is easier to find on the home page than also the mobile application. In order to make the most out of the data, we really need the insights where you are. So for example, on these KPI charts, you can set notifications that will alert me when the data hits a certain trigger point. For example, it can be time-based or threshold-based. I can set up different users. I can set up my colleagues to also receive these notifications for me. Now, these thresholds we based pushed to your email application, but also your mobile. And I can also open this same live board that I see here without any additional configuration directly on my mobile application. So I can access analytics on the go. So here's ThoughtSpot's mobile application where I've got this same live board open on the go. I can pick any visualization to go into more detail and I can right click on any of these data points and then drill down to still again, see deeper into the data. So we have our mobile application, we have our web application, but we also be able to develop and embed ThoughtSpot into your own web apps. So for example, if I click on this develop tab, we have a lightweight JavaScript SDK that will allow anyone to take what they love about ThoughtSpot, be it search, be it um, live boards, be it a single particular visualization, users can take ThoughtSpot, embed any analytical content into their web application. The code gets generated for them, so you can see what it looks like in a little sandbox environment and tweak and configure the UX and the style sheets to further customize the look and feel about the environment. This low code environment drastically decreases the time to value and the time to market for analytical offerings. And last but not least, we also have a version of ThoughtSpot where you can access via Google Sheets or Excel. We know a lot of businesses don't always have their data preloaded into the governed single source data warehouse. Um, so we also want to enable ThoughtSpot where they are on their desktops using Google Sheets or using Excel. So here I can very quickly open up lightweight version of ThoughtSpot directly on Google Sheets. I can pick my measures, exposure and vulnerability. I can then slice that by year. I can also type it into here as well and quickly get the insights as I need.
It's like I mentioned, it's lightweight. So there are a, a few charts for you to pick from. Again, that drill anywhere capability that we all love about ThoughtSpot is there. And also I can pin this visualization off to Google Sheets, um, Google Slides, but also pin this and send it to Slack if I wanted to. On our roadmap, we're furthering our integration capabilities with LLMs. We want the data to really come to life for the end user. When we click on this AI Insights button, it gives us a full natural language description of all the charts on the live board. A really nice way to enable the viewer to see what is happening and where they should pay attention to. If they want to go deeper into any of these insights, the Show More button will kick off our Spot IQ engine, which will break the data down even further. It's showing the business users areas of the data that might be contributing to this change over the different periods, drilling and slicing the data in the way the humans might not have time to look for. The AI insights are also contextually aware. They're not static. So if I was to filter the data down, if I was to drill down in any direction, the charts and the AI insights are filtered only to what the user is seeing at that time on the screen. At the moment, we're using um, Azure's OpenAI GPT-4 engine, but we plan to allow our customers to bring their own preferred LLMs onto the platform. We're also working on a chatbot to enable users to take their analysis even further. For example, if I wanted to ask a very simple question, like to change this um, bar chart into a line chart, I can just ask our um, AI assistant. Now, Another common ask I see all the time is users just want to see the table, uh, see the information in a table form. And I can ask our AI assistant to do that also. Now where they might want to then add a different column, that's no problem as well. So the AI assistant is really um, enabling the users to get more out of the data without the help of an analyst or even being needed to be trained as one. And now if the user wants to then swap that back to a bar chart so they can see the two measures and see if there's a correlation between those two points, they can do that really, really easily. Now, all the charts have all the stuff that users of ThoughtSpot love. The fact that we can drill anywhere into these capabilities, the fact that this data is completely unaggregated, so we can still add brand new filters to the live board and get down to any granular point of the data. Our vision is to use this AI assistant everywhere within inside the product. Um, from simple chart changes like you saw here, but really to enable the AI assistant to create complex formulas and even create fully customized embedded analytics portals, all using natural language.